let's take a look at the kitchen. We open up the two latches there. There's a spring latch here to stop the kitchen drawer from sliding out. So just pull that latch and turn it 90 degrees and it'll lock in. Now you get a blue lever on the fox slide, so just pull that out all the way, nice and gentle. So that should be a very smooth slide. And when that's done, underneath the kitchen, there's another little spring latch in there. And you've got to stabilise the legs that you pull down. Lock it in place. And that gives the hot stability. Now the gas stove, the safety gas stove, you've got the wind guards, they come over out to have a Pull the wind guards over, and that will protect your stove uh, from blowing out. Now you've got the cutlery drawer that you can pull out there. Uh, now behind on the other side, you know, we've actually got the gas, this unit's been gas plumbed, and so you've got a bayonet fitting on the end of here, you've got the cover. Now this cover here, you've got to make sure you take that off, bring that around the other side, and the bayonet fitting here. Turn that, pull that out, push that in, and that will lock in place. Now I like to just keep that in my cup drawer there. Now this one's got battery ignition P's there, guys. So the first time that you turn on the gas bottle, you'll have air through your line. So when you're pushing it down and turning on the gas, do wait a little bit for that air to bleed out. Once that air bleeds out, that flame will come on. Your battery's stored under the stove here. This is where my finger is. You can actually push up the stove and take the battery out. Now to hook up the water line, come around this side. Underneath the sink, you're gonna eight mil water line. So I'm gonna pull out. That comes out. And behind the camper trailer is a little compressor hose bit. So push, push that in, lift your hand. That will lock in place. And now we've got the water line connected. To turn on the tap, you've got the button here. Press that button, lift up the lever, and the water will come out. You've also got a drain plug that we give you guys. That you can just screw it in under the kitchen sink. And that just goes in, like so. And run that into your jerry can or a bucket for your waste water. Got another little drawer here, or if it's a piece of when you first get the camp trail, we'll give you a whole bunch of keys and I'll go through that with you guys later on. Here's our rack holder and also our condiments and a utility box here to store your dishwashing liquid, your tomato sauces and your olive oils. If you've got a little prep bench here or serving I don't try to use that to serve with, put my plates on there and actually just serve the food across. That's basically the kitchen and let's just close it down now. The first thing we do is we just make the water line. We just have it push it in, push it in, pull it out. Make sure you put the cap on and drain out any excess of water that comes out. And just strap that underneath the kitchen sink. Under your drain plug. And just pack that up. Push in the prep bench and that will click in. Stay next to you, push and turn, and that will pull out. Make sure you cover the cap up on the trailer and also on the actual fitting itself. The reason we don't cover up is you don't want any dirt or debris getting into here, and that's why we'll put that cap on. Push the company drawer in, lock that in place, and then on this side, tuck in the braid line. The reason why we do this, the braided line shares the same cavity as the kitchen drawer. If you put the line in first, you can have troubles pushing in the drawer itself. Then we're going to this side, holding up the wind guard. Push it up there, make sure the T-tail rack's in, the drawers are all locked in. Then underneath here, you can just lift up the kitchen sink a little bit. Lift, I say. And lock that in place. And when you're closing it, just push that the end and just go nice and slowly. If you do get a clunk, you just check to see if there's anything jammed. Otherwise, you should go very smoothly. Spring latch over. 
Ne yerde? Geçin sen.